Hello everybody, this is David here, right from Drama Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the Scarlet 18i20 by Focusrite. Let's dig right into the box. So let's open up the top of the box and you see the cover right there. Go in. Got important safety instructions. Download your software. Getting started, got it. Then here is the 18i20. We have our USB cable. This is, a USB, this is a USB interface. Then our power cable. So if this thing out of the box, push our box to the side. Let's get right to the 18i20 interface. So this is a USB audio interface. Let's see. It has 18 in, 20 out. A lot of so a lot of connections on this. And as soon as I get this off here, oh, it's one U rack mountable also. So that is. Good for people who have racks. Let's take this off of the LCD thing. So before I go, let's just take a look at this interface. So at the front, you have two mic preamps. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you have two mic preamps, um, uh, four two phantom power switches, two gain, a lot of gain switches, eight gain switches for all the preamps, a few, a few other switches, mm. input I th control I think it is. I'm not sure what that is yet. Volume monitor, then dim and mute, then two volume for the headphones. Then let's turn this thing around. First, you see the power supply. Mm. S, P, D, I, F, out and in. Speaker, I think. MIDI out and MIDI in. USB 2.0 port, world, word clock out, optical, optical, sound out and in, and then here are our outputs right here. You have right here 10 outputs. I don't know why they called it the 18i20. There may be actually be 20 outputs, I'm not sure. And then two monitors. And then here are your mic and line switches. The top is red and it says Scarlet 18i20. At the bottom it just safety stuff. Okay, so that wraps up this unboxing of the Focusrite Scarlet 18i20 audio interface. For more, please subscribe to the channel for more audio and tech. And please like this video if you liked it, actually. <laughs> and otherwise, I'll see you next time on Rummer Tech. Thanks for watching.